It's been a minute. I mean, I'm not going to lie. I, 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 you know, he's always be my brother. Okay. So my thing is, you know, the conversation and, and not speaking is a little bit drastic. But, you know, people uh, are allowed to choose what paths they're going to lead. And that doesn't mean that I have to agree with it or I have to accept it. It's just a, a, a fact of life right now. And then everything can change. You just have to keep your door open and keep your mind towards being respectful and wanting people to, and you treating people like you want to be treated, regardless of who they are. Oh, you always miss a person that you truly love and respect. Even though you don't get along with him and you don't agree with the things that he does, doesn't mean that you stop loving and respecting him. You just love people from afar. Yes, I mean, and I think it's so kind of ironic, too, because um, it, the Clean Energy Tour, that was the last time you headlined right, together, right. actually performing. That was just in uh, 2010, you know, uh, nine years ago, almost 10 years. But we performed more than that. We okay. performed, I think our last tour was 2017. Oh. So um, that was that was the last time, and I think it was it was it was positive, but it went downhill from there. My thing is is if you keep it business, nothing should stop you. If it's about business, if it's about something else, then I understand. But there's nothing you can't say to me, whether I agree or not, that we can't sit down and discuss. So as men, that's what needs to be done. Did as the, individuals, did that's the what the relationship needs to be done. start as business, or did it start as a friendship? Or? I think it started as both because you have to be friends in order to want each other to succeed at something. Mm -hmm. You have to basically get together and be cohesive and be a unit and have a bond to do what we did. If the, if there's no chemistry, yeah, magic, if like, there's yeah. no chemistry, it's just, it's just equivalent to a marriage. If there's no chemistry in the marriage, then it doesn't last. It has to be organic. It has to have some chemistry. And you have to want to be involved in it. You have to want to respect it. Like any relationship in your life, whether they're your best friends, it takes work. Mm -hmm. So you, so like, is it safe to say he, you felt like he's not putting in the effort to make it happen? I feel like there are Because like you having I, tours, like y'all walk off set and then and that's it? Like, well, my thing is, my thing is... I, I, I would love to speak for his side, and I'm sure he would love to speak for my side, but it, it only comes when two people want to speak. I don't have a problem with speaking and having a platform because I always want to be heard. I always want to be the one to have that solution that I was talking to you about that I learned from Heavy D. Now, if that's your cousin, <laughs> the apple shouldn't fall too far from the tree. Yeah. yeah. Everybody is different at the same time. And that's why I don't judge. Okay. Because I want to give somebody the free will to do it how they want to do it. And come to me when they want to come to me. The only Did thing you now... Did hmm? like, like, you know, Listen, a person that says they know you, then they should know you. You shouldn't have to sell yourself. They know you already. They know what your capabilities are negative. So they should know what your capabilities are in a positive way. So if you know me, I don't have to sell it. You know where it at is it? It's at. But you what know if that's what he wants. Hmm? What? What if that's what he wants to you to just be like, listen, I want to talk right fucking now. Let's meet somewhere. Not so much aggressive, but you know, you know, let's Come on. do the damn thing. Are we talking about the same person that t that can argue with a stranger? Of course you could talk to me. You could be online arguing with a stranger. You could talk to me. Mm. You could divert all that energy to me. That's all you got to do. I mean, this is about creativity. My thing is, whether you like me or not, that's good. Because it's creativity. Come on. Okay, so now when we were kids, we liked each other. Now we not supposed to like each other now. So how do we create around that? Let's talk about, let's make records off of how much you don't like me. Mm. It's creative. So maybe people, maybe we need to start fighting it and start joining maybe it. that's what it needs. We need like a celebrity you know what I'm saying? death match, celebrity position, okay. and y'all just do the fuck out. But that's my creative thought process. Let's yeah. get in the yeah. studio. 
that's my thought. That's my creative thought process of solutions. Yeah. Because why should we hide? The people, why should I say, well, don't ask me no Pete Rock questions. Oh, we're not into that. We don't, we don't, we don't. But I'm sorry. I, we want to know because that was like, that's how we knew who you guys were. Right. So you can't have one without the other. Exactly. One wasn't created without the other helping. That's what I want to get out there. Again, yeah. I'm going to say it again if some people are slow. One wouldn't be great without the other. One made the other. So no matter how many remixes he does or produce records, I help make you. You help make me. We made each other. One didn't make the other. We made each other. That's a fact. So you feel like a lot of egos, you know, because, you know, Pete Rock did an amazing job. Like, he's responsible for a lot of early classic records like Illmatic and, mm -hmm. and all of that. So it's Mecca and the Soul Brother. We talking why, shouldn't, why shouldn't you have an ego? You should be allowed to have an I'm ego. Yeah, I understand yeah. what you're saying. You should be allowed to have an ego inside, outside, the way you want it, but come back to the base of things. The foundation of what made you.